All right, moving along. I will come back when it's warmer. Every time I come to this cemetery, it's like the middle of winter. We have flowers coming up. You can see them. Um, let's see if I can find the drowned whilst bathing one. My luck, I'll look and never find it. It's just such an interesting. This I like very much. Um, excuse me. Um, is this right here? I love this saying on gravestones, and I don't see it much anymore. It's sacred in the memory of. I absolutely adore that. Um, this one has the log with the flowers. Show it to y'all. But I love that. Love that saying. It's probably one of my favorite ways to to find things. Um, this is a very simple stone compared to some of the others. I'll come over here so you all can see this. Stand on the edge here. It says, This monument slab resting over the remains of the late Johann Niccolo was placed here by an affectionate family member of one who adorned the revelations of a social life. He was a kind husband, a tender parent, a generous friend, and an indulgent master. The deceased sunk in the grave, a victim of the cholera, on Friday the 31st day of May 1833, in the 67th year of his age. I see that? Of his age. Um, I don't know what the rest says, because it's, you'd have to do like a rubbing and you're not allowed to do those. Um, there's Mr. Tipton. And he was obviously... Now I'm kind of in the middle. This is Mr. Houston. I expect that he is related to the Houstons of Houston County that was Houston County was named after. We are going to continue to move along here and I'm going to get out of the middle of those. Um, sadly enough, there are some children's graves. I do not know where the one whilst bathing is though. I may have to come back in the summer and find that one. I promise I'll find it for y'all and read it to you. But it says the gentleman was drowned whilst bathing. I've said it about 10 times to you, so right now you know. But anyways, I thought I would say it one more time. We have this one that's got lots of writing on it. He was both in argument and scriptural exhibi exhibition remarkably livid and instructive. Something and we're going to follow him. Who is he? Let's find out. This is Mr. Jennings, who died in 1832. All right, here's one. Alex Brown. of all the graves. Um, I'm going to walk this way a little bit and then um, I'm going to take you and show you, well you can kind of see them from here. Here's one, there's an above crown mausoleum. Um, we do have some of those. And they did the artwork and they put the ornate, you know, the adornments on it. I'm able to tell more about them. Now, this is a really cool one. This one is very unique. And it's 
while I am not, I don't think that the dead are alive, you know, know anything, I also still try to be very respectful in a cemetery. Um, mainly because I think that I would want my parents' graves whenever they pass away to be respected as I would want mine to be respected. So I try to be respectful of theirs just as I would like mine to be respected. So we have another, we have Mr. He died in 1856. Some of these stones are a little newer than others. Obviously they have come in and have done some renovations. Now I'm not walking all the way over there. Um, well, maybe I am. I'll do it quickly. This one up here is unique. There are tunnels underneath Nashville, historic tunnels. One of the openings to one of these tunnels is right over here in this mausoleum that you see above ground. Um, I'm gonna take you over here and I'll show it to you and then I'm gonna head back towards my car. Um, the tunnels actually go all the way down to Second Avenue and then they go from there, they go up to the Capitol. There's an entrance at the Capitol, Nashville Capitol. There's an entrance down at the corner of Second and Broadway. There's an entrance at Hume Fogg. They, Hume Fogg is a public high school and the public high school actually still, um, well, it has ghost hunt, it has ghost tours, so to speak. I thought it was just a tour of those. Took my friend who did not want to go to a haunted house, and unfortunately it was. So, um, that was kind of a fail. But here's one of the entrances to those. Yes, it is an above ground. It's a family vault. However, it also... take you this way really quickly this is a unique stone and it's a highly ornated ornate stone which is one of the reasons that I brought y'all or I took the time to come down here is so that you all could see that Nashville had money still does but um, they really did have money you can see this gentleman was in fact a Jewish gentleman um, if I can get to where the elevation is better I will crawl up here so you all can see the ornateness of this stone. Here we go. You can see just how ornate. Think of how much money that it cost for this. And this is a Mr. Henderson down there, as you can see. Um, it, he died in 1848. This man was a millionaire when he died, I can tell you that. There's no way you could afford this stone without being one. Um, this is Mr. Watkins' grave as well, died in 1903. Um, I'll stand back and take a picture of this one for you all. And the police are here now, so I should be safe, although they may question me a little bit, and that's fine. I'm going to tell them I do a vlog, and I'm interested in this, and I'm doing some research. No big deal. I hope he does come over and say hello to me, or he checks on my car. And I think he's probably gonna come say hello to me. And I'm good with that if he does. Um, there's also a grate over here, so we're gonna walk down here and I'm gonna show that to you. Unfortunately, this city cemetery has been um, put in the middle of the ghetto now. Um, so you have that. And I was going to show you all this stone as well. It's an interesting stone. It's a lady and a gentleman. Okay. So this vault is for Turin. Their family vault is actually below ground. Um, which is kind of interesting. We also have this, um, but that's the first time I've seen one of those, and I love the ornate, if you can see, on the actual metal. And we're going to now head back to my car. And I'm looking for my car, and I see it. And the police officer must have left. Like I said, I'm not doing anything wrong, so I have nothing to worry about. Um, 
show you these real quick. I know this is a long video, guys. I'm sorry. There's no easy way to come do this, and we're going to have to do it more than once for me to really feel like I've shown you all what's going on with So we're gonna head on down some more. Sorry if, for those of you who are like leery of graveyards, I guess if you're really afraid, you're welcome to come. If you're in Nashville and you can get a hold of me, you're welcome to come with me and I'll walk with you. This was an Ellen Shepherd who died in 18, it's gotta be like 43. It's a really cool, of course, the Christ was her, or the cross was her anchor. So she was a Christian lady. Um, this one sadly has got to be the Madonna and Child and it has been vandalized. And this is a daughter. So this was an infant's gravesite. 